<laughs> oh, is anyone on here? Not yet. Um, maybe I will just get started. Um, I'm doing a question and answer about <laughs> my journaling and um, you'll hear a bit of noise because whenever I start talking to the phone, my puppy likes to join. Um, so on Instagram, I said that I would be doing some questions and answers. Um, feel free to ask me some questions. I have a few people who have asked before. Um, one of the first questions people ask me is, what planners do I own? I don't have many. I have just these three. Um, this first one is all for my art supplies. Um, and I use it as a wallet. Hey, hey, you. It's okay. Sorry. My dog really likes to have a say. Um, and so this is just, um, I did this because I go, yeah. Puppy. There's my puppy. He doesn't understand that I'm talking to myself, so he thinks I'm talking to him. Go to bed. Go to bed. Um, so getting back to the planner. Um, the planner is, this is just, um, I go, I'm really forgetful, and whenever I go to the art store, I forget what I have. So this has just got all of, like, that's all my watercolors. Um, so these are my ones that are in half pans. These are in tubes. Um, this is n a different company. Um, my acrylics. I don't have any oil paints, but when I have oil paints, I have that there. These are all my markers. Um, these are pens. And then um, I haven't finished making my dividers. I've got um, colored pencils, um, uh, pa uh, pastel pencils, and washi tape. Um, and that's all that is. And I, it's just a cheapo. I got it from the Salvation Army for like $2. And it's not even real leather. And I just sanded it, gessoed it, and painted it. Um, and so that's that one. Um... My uh, next one is uh, my beautiful gold Kiki K. This is my everyday planner for the most part. And um, it's just, I don't do the super decorating thing because I find clutter annoying. Um, and then this is just what it looks like on the inside. Um, I don't really use monthly spreads, so I've stopped doing that. And then um, I'm not currently in this one. Um, that's kind of what I do on a week basis, but I'm not currently in this one because I'll show you here in a second. Um, but so I've got that, I've got my addresses, which I won't show you. Um, I've got blog planner, which I need to start using. The to do is for the blog to do list. And then this is stuff all regarding my puppy, um, and his thing. So that's that. Um, and then my final planner is was sent to me by um, my dear friend, Danny. Um, this is her leftovers from the Erin Life, the Erin Condren Life Planner. And I wanted to try it out. And so she sent me the what she had left because um, she got she upgraded to, I think, one of the rose gold ones when that came out. And so, yeah, what I'm learning about. My flatmate works in a very sensitive job, and he can't have his work um, advertised, but um, I like to keep track of it, so I put his name in, and then after I do all the public things with this, I put his his hours in. So that's the, um, the planners I have. Um, the next thing I got asked was about... Um, Oh, and don't mind my mess. I am a very messy person. Um, the problem is I save everything and I push it to the top. Like, these are envelopes that I have full of stuff. All of these envelopes I got from Pop Fizz paper. And, like, this has got die cuts for when I'm on the go. And I use that side for glue stick. This has got my, um, this just got a list stuff inside of it. Um, two different prints because that's one I printed on my computer. And that's one I printed, had printed on a, on a better computer. Um, and so that's that. Um, and then these are the photos that I've printed to go into my journal. 
um, I don't do, um, as when we get closer to journaling, um, I guess we can talk about that soon. Um, but this, um, we, um, next are my journals. This is my first journal. Um, one of my first journals. Um, I have much older journals. They're just all packed from when I moved to New Zealand because I live in New Zealand. It's like 10 in the morning here. Um, and this is, these are the journals that, um, this is the one I had when I moved to New Zealand. Um, um, my flatmate who I live with, um, who's actually my ex-husband, which some people find weird, but we get along really well. He sent me this for my birthday one year and it terrified me for months because it's so gorgeous. You can't see, but it's, um, it's velvet, like not like that cheap velvet, but like really actual nice silk velvet and silver beads and stuff. And there was a crystal that was in the center. Um, but yeah, so this is my journaling kind of started off like I'm um, staging things. Um, in this one, I just had to write things down. And so I've got email stuff, um, a tattoo designs, and then I get into actual journaling. And it's all boring, uh, guest list for my wedding, um, budgeting for wedding stuff, planning, um, but mostly just this is all gifts from from the wedding. So and then more journaling, um, stuff like that. There's a lot of empty pages, um, a lot of nothing actually, um, and yeah, and so that's that. Um, the paper quality in this isn't the greatest. Um, it just feels really not fun to write with, which is kind of disappointing. So, um, and I just kind of outgrew it and I, it's, it's a, it's heavy. It's a really, it's a thick, heavy book. Um, and so I stopped carrying that. Um, and then the next journal I got, um, was this one. Um, I actually started this one before that, but I started this one, um, specifically for art and it's just a moleskin or moskine or however you pronounce that. Um, that I put, I found this in an art magazine or something and I put that on the cover and, um, I just drew, I used to be obsessed with drawing eyes, um, especially eyes crying open and closed. Um, and this is how I started my art journaling process. Um, and then, um, like cake designs and clothing designs and poems and yeah. And so I just put all kind. I used I put all kinds of things, and then I got a fountain pen. I did journaling, um, some sketching, um, all kinds of things that put I got put in here. Um, do, some doodling. I don't really doodle anymore. I find this deeply irritating, and even even here I couldn't finish it. I find it deeply deeply irritating. Um, I'm kind of a real perfectionist, and I I. And so things like that really bother me. Um, be a get things done system. Um, and then once it was set up, I didn't really like that system and I haven't really used it yet again. Um, I realized I like to put a lot of things in like a lot of watercolor and this really wrinkles. Um, and I just, I don't know. I stopped using it. <laughs> um, and then, um, I didn't journal for a while. I did art journaling. I did blogging. I did Facebooking, which it probably annoyed everyone. Um, but I didn't journal. Um, for a while and then I got back into it um, and I have this thing um, this is a visual diary or a sketchbook it is what in New Zealand we call an A4 um, which in America is a standard journal size and um, and I just kind of painted this inside and I started off really boring that's it that's my art journaling it, got a card from somebody, put some things in, and I was doing this art journaling prompt thing, and I didn't like it, um, and then I started drawing some things, and I'm not a really good drawer, 
and it irritates me. And this is another one of those trying to zen doodle. I was trying to zen tangle, and this took me about f f three hours of deep irritation. I hated every moment of this. I overthink what patterns need to be next to each, what patterns and not repeating patterns. And yeah. And right about then is when I started getting some watercoloring in the background. Um, these little paintings. Um, I really liked doing these. I need to do these again. Um, um, watercoloring my headers. Um, adding paintings. I went to see. Um, Fury Road, playing with setups. I tried this style. I hated it um, with the little boxes, and I just found writing inside the boxes annoying. I saw it on Pinterest. Um, and then more painting, um, and just, yeah, but eventually I, and then I, it led to this. Um, and then I stopped using this because it's so big to carry around. Um, and at the same time that I felt this was really big to carry around, I got my Midori Traveler's <clears throat> notebook. Um, and so I use this. And I've done flip throughs through this. And um, I have different types of journals in here, which I really like because I like to section things off. So that's all about working on my dreams and my goal manifestation. This is Lister's Law List, which I'm not doing because as I discover every time I do these challenges, I hate prompts. I hate set out prompts for every month, um, for every day. It just drives me bats. And then, um, and then, yeah, and then I've done a flip through of my journal and it started off yet again, boring. I kind of lost that creativity and then I'm slowly painting more and more till I'm getting to, you know, things like this. And then I start adding photos. Um, with photos, I don't really do the memory keeping where I'll do a photo and write. Usually always, except with exceptions of where I write, want to write down some notes of how I feel about a specific person, like my, my um, flatmate slash best friend. Um, it's all, um, or like, um, writing about my boyfriend. Um, those are times when I, I actually use photos in the past and talk about the past. But for the most part, I just either use the old photos. Um, sorry, my dog wants out. There we go. photos from then um but what i'll also do is uh, when i go get around to printing photos from the day that i wrote about i'll tip them in later so this was added later i mean if you see my instagram post it was it didn't have that photo um and um and i have a photo that i'll tip in here that i have to print off um i don't have a canon selfie or anything um so and because i print them off as um a five size I mean, a four size paper. I have to wait till I've accumulated um, eight photos to print. And that's how many fit. And then that's just my lettering stuff, um, which I've shown plenty of times. Um, and so because I have to wait till um, my eight, till I get my, um, till I get eight of them, I often will add things back or. Um, but what I don't do is I don't do what I see a lot of other, like, um, Courtney from the little ink. And I think Allie does this, um, Allie Brown from, um, yeah, Allie Brown. Um, she, they do, um, kind of memory keeping where they'll talk about what's in the photo and talk, write about the past. Um, I put photos into keep to keep my memory, but, um, to remind my memory and keep, um, those moments, um, there, but as, um, but I don't really, I journal about my day and about what's going on right now. Um, only things in the past, if it's still active in my mind, um, I wanted to share, someone asked, 
um, about some resources that got me into journaling. Um, and I'll start with the one that got me into journaling again, and that's um, The Creative Journal Writing by Stephanie Dalrick. Um, it's a really good book about writing journals, um, being creative in the way you write your journal, and not just like, today, Dear Diary, today I went to the store. The end. Um, but really kind of delving deeper and um, I do some of her prompts throughout my journal and you'll see them in there. Um, I, I like to mark when I'm doing a prompt so that in the future, if I'm going, why am I suddenly talking about time? Um, I know. Um, and her book is really good. And what I recommend doing and she recommends doing is get um, reading through it the first time, just straight through and through the second time doing um, reading through it and doing the prompts then. So just prompts and stuff um, or prompt or talks talk about their journaling and um, it's just I really love this um, so she talks about all the different ways you can use your your thing and yeah so it's your first one it'll always say your turn and so this first one was just about free association um, uh, wherever you are right now that your eyes fall on something outside of yourself um, that's when I did some journaling about my dog and how important he is to me um, and um, she she talks about letting yourself wander and it just it's a really good um and so um book i really enjoy it i've read it lots of times um she's an australian which i quite appreciate um yeah and then the other one that really got me um is this one which is just this short little book and it's got the most beautiful drawings in it um and it's the kind of journaling i'd like to one day get to but i'm just I, I don't, I, do, I don't know. I'm not much of a sketcher in my journal. I need to, I tend to smash things into it. Um, but yeah, how to make uh, a journal of your life. And it's just this really gorgeous book. And he talks about um, all his process through journaling. And it's all this hand-drawn font. And I think it's actually all hand lettered which and handwritten which is amazing um and it's just a short little thing and that's by uh d price um so how to make a journal of your life um and then the one that kind of got me even more into the art um and less into art journaling because i do art journaling too um is uh journal spilling um and just her kind of process and some of the things that she has in it. And this is just a beautiful book. Like, I mean, this is kind of what inspired my current journaling a little bit is this kind of like paint and journal over top of it. Um, um, I haven't worked my, I don't like, I'm not one of those people who religiously work their way through a book, like from the first thing to the other, I kind of flip through it and look for little things and stuff. Um, but I really, really love this book and it's by Diana Trout. Um, and I really like it. Um, I have read um, Di Dina Wakeley's books. I have read a lot of the um, the journal fodder books, the journal 365 books. I don't own them. Um, I borrow them from the library. Um, I also just other art books that I have, I, I use and read and enjoy. Um, but yeah, so those... Those are kind of the, the journaling books that um, inspire me and have gotten me to where I am. Um, there's other books that I wouldn't recommend. Um, I don't really like. Okay, or I, not that I wouldn't recommend them. That I that I checked out and I didn't enjoy. Um, Violet's Creative Juice, her book. Um, I just I found it not very useful. I found it very um, bland as in it didn't provide um it didn't provide a lot for me um of inspiration and so yeah that that is um those are the books that i i enjoy um these are all questions i haven't been asked on instagram but i get asked all the time 
Um, so I thought I'd show you. Um, the next thing I get asked are um, my supplies that I use. Um, and they're, they're pretty basic. Um, I use washi. Um, I have washi cards in my journal, in my actual journal. Um, they're just, you know, the thing that you do um, washi cards on a credit card or, or co a copy card or things like that. Um, I also Um, I usually have that taped up. The tapes come undone. Um, that's my newest washi. Um, and now I'm obsessed and I want all the glitter washi. I want it in every color, especially turquoise. You'll see a lot of blue in turquoise because it's my favorite color. Um, and so I love this, uh, this dachshund. I don't have a dachshund, but I love the dachshund. I love all dogs. And dachshunds and um, pugs, which is this one here, um, tend to be really pop, seem to be really popular popular right now so i go with those um but i just about buy anything dog shaped um so i use washi um that's my first and foremost i use die cuts which i keep when i i besides my ultimate favorites which are in this one um the ones that i i, I love and i use i want to i know i want to use in my journal so i carry them with me i keep in this little thing which is an envelope from pop this paper um, other than that, I keep them in this box, which I don't, I hate things like this saying, cause I'm pretty sure Marilyn Monroe probably didn't say that. Um, there's a lot of things like that, but, um, I just keep it in this, um, and I just have these little folders. Um, like I have some rub-ons in the front and then like, these are all journaling card size things. And then, um, these are small and these are medium, and these are large, and then this is some journaling stuff that is just like random ephemera, and then I have larger things like that from somebody, and some book pages. These aren't, um, they're not just plain pages. They, the book was kind of destroyed, and so I took out, um, I always have loved Quentin Blake's, um, drawings. And so these are all his drawings from the mis my friend, Mr. Leakey. Um, and I thought they were really neat. So those are those. And then next, what would I, what? oh, journaling cards. Oh God, I buried my journaling cards underneath my planners. Um, I don't have a lot. That's it. I have, I have um, one full set, which is the chalkboard set from we are memory keepers, which is this one from, um, I have some that I got from planning swaps and from swaps. And then I got this other set, which this one came in. These two came in, um, in some of the, other, some of the other ones, smaller ones. And I don't remember what it was called. It was just a small little, the kind that come in the little bags, um, came with one big one on the top and two small ones on the bottom. Um, one of those little floppy things. And that's it. Um, I want to get more. I want them all. I remember a time when I didn't know what journaling cards were or what Project Life cards were. And not anymore. Um, and then I use a glue stick. This is the glue stick I like. Um, it's the one that's easy for me to get, I should say. Um, I've learned my lesson here in New Zealand, never buy a glue stick from the $2 shop. You think, oh, they're $2, they'll, they'll be worth it. They, they, the glue dries before you can even get it on the paper. Um, like you put it on, what, on paper A, and before you can push it on paper B, it's dry, and it's just annoying. So this is the one I use. Um, this is the large one. I have a small one that I carry in my bag. Um, I use scissors. I'm not really picky. These ones are from, yet again, the $2 shop. Um, my most common use things are my water brushes. Um, I use the broad the most just because I do col coloring my pages in completely. And so they, it moves a bit faster on this, but I also have the fine. I had the medium, but that fell victim to a dog. Um, 
I have I the pens I use. I use to use I paper bag from pop this paper because I save everything I have another one over there um, I'm such a hoarder but you go do 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 and then I don't know if I do on this because this is wax but like see like instantly no no smearing see and so that's the pen I use and it's also I'm usually really picky about the shade of blue but I really like this shade of blue Unfortunately, as I said, it's discontinued. Um, I found a couple alternatives. The Smooth Operator is a similar shade blue, but it's got a much slower drying ink. And that's the one that Typo will tell you is the replacement. But I um, prefer the Easy Rider. The barrel is much... Here, let me put it on my thing. The barrel is much thinner. Um, it's And the pen nib is a bit different. Um, it's This is a really weird um thing it's but it's just a little fine thing and you yep and then so it still dries i don't have the smooth operator because i opted not to buy a pen that i won't use so that's that um and i have um what else do i use i use um i do have pigma pens like the the both artline and stadler I don't think I have any of the Sakura. I have, what is this one? Yes, another Stadler. So I have the pigment liners. I don't really use them that often. I don't know why, I just don't like them. Um, I tend to opt for the Fiber Castell, um, the Fiber Castell um, Pit Artist Pens, and I have them in Extra small, small, medium, fine, or fine, medium, and brush. Um, yeah, the extra small, I'll warn you. The extra small, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on here. The little tip gets a little bent, but it still writes fine. Um, I haven't seen any uh, it affect the writing much. Um, and then... I use um, um, uni, the Uniball Signo. Um, I know some people pronounce it Sino. I pronounce it Signo. The Uniball Signo in white, silver, and gold. Um, although, when it comes to white pens, I tend to grab my Jelly Roll, um, which I find writes a little... These two pens... Oh, I'm going to move them off the white now. And these two pens are my two white pens that I use besides when I use white out, um, a white out pen. Um, they both have their pluses and their um, minuses. It very rarely leaves me streaks or you know how sometimes you get that double line with the roller ball mark in the middle. Very rarely get that with this one. The minuses is it's a bit more transparent and it's slower drying. Um, this one is very opaque. Um, this one's also thinner. Um, this one's thicker. Um, um, this one's very opaque, but I often find that I get the little streaky lines with this one and it's really difficult to get a nice look with. So I do tend to go for the jelly roll. The other one I grab occasionally, um, um, is the, the jelly roll, the Secura Glaze which is also in white. This one comes out milky looking and almost clear, but it dries opaque and amazing. Um, the main difference between these two um, is this one's a bit more opaque, but also this one is glossy, whereas this one is matte. So that's those. Um, and I think that, oh, and then I use um, some journaling elements by Scraps of Five, which you can get off of site. Um, I have them all cut up, so I can't really show you the page. And I need to print off some more. But, yeah. Um, as for actual questions.
questions that my mind um, that's one of the I, I do my I do my journaling almost every night that's why I don't do a lot of it's dark as and out on paper it's not having to worry about it anymore or um, it's conversation a conversation to myself a lot of memory keeps to myself that's the only the only person I expect to be this um, it's the person I can person I but um, Oh, what is your favorite of journaling? Um, I do do art journaling. I didn't show you my art journals. Um, maybe another time. Um, I prefer just written. It's probably my favorite. It's the easiest for me to get processed. Art journaling is stretching my creativity, and um, it's where I deal with big scary emotions. But this is where I get. This is the meat and potatoes. This is where I get most of my work done, and it's something that's all the time mm. more easier to carry. Um, uh, what else? Things or. Do you write about troubling times? Um, I write every times, bad times, troubling times. For example, I, I don't want you to see what I wrote, but this is um this was my birthday, but also my brother-in-law, um, and here he is with his with my sister and my nephew, um, passed away in the night before, and so I write about that. Um, and I don't birthday celebrate. I share because it's a different thing to still do something for my birthday despite that sadness. Um. And I write about good times. I write about bad times. I write about funny times. I I talk to myself. I kick I kick myself in the butt a lot in there. A lot of the journaling. I tell you th the thing and do the thing. Um, and yeah, um, what inspires me? Um, life. If you're not inspired by your life, um, then you're looking at it. You know, mom, my dog. Um, I know right now by the fact he's a teenager and he doesn't want to snuggle anymore. Um. And I know that's silly, sounds silly, but you know, um, as for the colors and stuff, like the painting, it's what comes to me that day. I just let it happen. I don't really think about it. It just comes out. I, I, um, and so this is because of, because I hate brown. And so, yeah, that's kind of what inspires me and just in getting of my head. Otherwise I can't sleep. So I gotta, sometimes I get up in the middle of the night if I really can't sleep and I, I lay some more into this journal, um, but yeah, I really my Foxy fix, um, Foxy door. It's a lifesaver. So, oh, all the questions. Sorry, this has gone on for so long. Um, I guess I will see you. Bye.